she came here all the way from Everett just to share her testimony with us today. So we're so grateful to have you in the house. Can you tell us what was the problem that you were facing before you came here to Hungry Generation to receive prayer and, and give us some, some background of what ultimately brought you to this place? Ultimately, um, I had been serving in my church as a um, service pastor faithfully. I was, uh, I was a prayer warrior. I was working in baptism. I was faithful. Week in, week out, I was faithfully there. And just like over the past few years that many people have, you know, we didn't expect 2020, 2021 the way that, that it worked out. I was serving and I was just like looking at my fruit, like what is the fruit that um, of my life? And it just wasn't what I had expected it to be being a Christian. And I just was like, what's going on? What's going on? And, you know, I was, I was losing people in my family, not to COVID, but just like, you know, to age, to life. Um, I lost both my grandmothers within months of each other. I felt like a country song. I lost my dog too. He passed away. It was just like everything was like leaving me. Everything was leaving me. And um, I just really just looked at like last year, um, like what what's going on? I was by myself and I was going to sleep. And right before I went to sleep, I, uh, when you know, as a woman, when you're by yourself in the house, you're always like afraid that somebody's gonna be in there that you don't want. And I had turned off all the lights to go to bed and I turned over and I looked and I saw something that looked like a man, it freaked me out. And I turn on the lights, that's what you do. And you're like, what's that? And it was a demon standing in my room, the darkest thing that I've ever seen in my whole life and it was like I screamed but I knew nobody was coming because nobody was there to come and I just I couldn't sleep and the next time I was again alone and doing the same thing going to sleep and getting ready and I could hear things like around me I have like eye covers because I just want everything to be dark when I go to sleep and um I could feel something like I could hear things and I was like something I felt like I got jumped in my sleep um I was being like attacked physically in uh like on my back and I was being choked and I didn't understand what was going on like while I was I had then I had sleep paralysis and I'm like there's no way I haven't even gone to sleep yet where is this coming from and so the only thing that I was able to like scream out was the name of Jesus and everything stopped in that moment although I couldn't see anything it just stopped immediately and you know when you when that continues to happen in my life uh I couldn't sleep so there was months from I probably like last year about this time where I had just months of just, I would sleep in the living room. I wouldn't sleep in my room. And like, I was, I'm a Christian. I'm a believer. I'm filled with the Holy Spirit. What's going on? Why is this happening? Why is this happening to me? You know, and like, what's, why am I seeing these things that are in my room? Why am I seeing these things when I'm awake? Why am I hearing these things? Why am I being physically attacked? you know, God, where, you know, what's going on? Why, why is this happening? So I was wanting to just make, at the beginning of this year, I just really just, you know, wanted to be free and wanted to sleep again. And I just knew that I needed to make changes in my life. And so I was searching, I was searching and I happened to come across Hungry Generations uh, when I was searching and I was like, what? They do this, this is not weird to them. Like I can get help, I can get help here. I can, I was like, okay, Pasco, never been to that part, but I don't care. So I signed up for digital deliverance in January of last year. And so expecting to make those changes, I was like, you know, participating, doing the fasting, uh, praying more than I've ever prayed in my life and just start making, taking those steps to change. And then, you know, January came, 
I didn't get an email. February came, I didn't get an email. And I'm like, I don't care. They're uh, located in Pasco. I live in Everett. That's three hours. I can make it. When is the next, when is the next deliverance? Because I'm going to be there. And I came here with my mother and I was like, I don't care. Um, whatever it is, it's got to go. And so I came here in March. Speak up. What have you done to her body? I've made her weak. Uh, she was strong. She was an athlete. Oh. Holy Ghost, fire all over your body. You spiritual spouse. What have you done to her family? What have you done to her marriage? Oh, it's ended. She was married. And Who's the cause of it? Oh, me. I'm the cause of it. I, I told her. I came into dreams of her ex-husband, and I told her that he wasn't, she wasn't the one for him, and he believed it. What else oh. have you done to her family? Oh, you know, many generations, she, her family keeps seeing me, and... How did you answer her? her? Uh, she has many dreams. Uh, you answered through dreams? Right now, you unclean evil spirit, I command you to go in Jesus' mighty name. I cast you out of this body. In Jesus' mighty name, I command you to surrender this body right now. Yes, you're going. Come out of her. Out. Holy Ghost, fire all over your body. She doesn't belong to you, you spiritual spouse. I command you to lose her. Out, 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 out. Come out of her. Come out of her. Out, out, out. Out of her body. Come out of her. Out, out. Loose her. I command you to loose her. Yes, you're going stubborn, wicked demon. Come out of her. Loose her. Loose her. Yes. Stop fighting me. Loose her. Come on, let's put our hands together for Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You want to come a little closer. Can you tell us what happened on that day? Do you remember anything that was going on? And what has your life been like since that moment? Like afterward, I felt like I was in like a fight, like a street fight. And I looked more worse than the wear, but I felt so good afterward. It was like better than a spa day. It was just so good. So good. God is so good. God, it's all glory to God for healing and salvation and deliverance and freedom. Amen. Hallelujah. What has your, your uh, nightlife been like since? And you know, it's been about a month and a half now. And how has your life improved since you received that final deliverance? Yeah, I have lots of peace when I sleep, but you know, nowadays that I know that that's an, an area where the enemy likes to attack, you know, um, I just start inviting the Holy Spirit into my dreams. I invite Jesus into my dreams. And so like before I came here last night, like I felt something like trying to attack me, but you know, the Holy Spirit then was speaking to me and it was just saying like, the blood is against you. So whatever is trying to come after me in my dreams, the blood is against you. So. Amen, hallelujah, hallelujah.